fluid, much more dense than, than air. Sandy had immense impact with regard to water damage due to, to the strength of the winds. And that pushed water into the lower parts of Manhattan. You just had a, a tremendous amount of water funneling into a, a small area. Cut off from the energy source of a warm ocean, Sandy very slowly lost its strength. But had this been the perfect storm? What makes it perfect is just that all the right ingredients came together for it to have a high impact. This really was a superstorm. I mean, you have the massive storm surge, the winds, power lines down, flooding rains, and believe it or not, in October, some places in West Virginia, 36 inches of snow, three feet of snow, and far away in the Great Lakes, 1,000 miles away, there were surfers riding 20-foot waves. Sandy was that massive. The entire east coast of the United States, as far back as Chicago and the Great Lakes, impacted by this storm. Extreme weather is affecting every part of the globe. In 2012, Russian agriculture suffers its second drought in two years. Great Britain is deluged by record-breaking summer rainfall. And Venice continues to flirt with the sea. In the US, destructive tornadoes are rampant. And more than nine million acres burn in wildfires sparked by tinderbox conditions. Climate change appears to be real. Average temperatures have risen more than one degree over the past 100 years. But can extreme weather events like Superstorm Sandy be linked directly to a changing climate? We're still trying to understand the effects of climate change. And whether or not we'll see more storms like Sandy is still unknown. Coming from a scientist background, it's, we have to really look at it objectively. If you start saying that the rare event is becoming the common event, that, to me, is good evidence for something is changing. Now, that needs to be quantitatively done, not, not done in an ad hoc nature. If someone can show that, then I'm on board with believing more of uh, the, the, the change aspects. Global warming means that there's more energy in our atmosphere, there's more energy in our oceans, and this energy is seen in terms of storms. And that energy means we get more extremes. Unseasonal weather, our seasons are changing. More hurricanes, heavier winds, more tropical storms. And it's this pattern of events that people are going to have to get used to over the coming decades and centuries. Nine days after Sandy, there is further bad weather for New Yorkers. An unwelcome nor'easter leaves tens of thousands without power in freezing temperatures. Is extreme weather something we all should simply get used to? Virtually every expert knows that humans are warming the planet. These same experts tell us that storms like Sandy are going to become more common in the future, combined with rising sea levels, which are absolutely going to happen. Those sea levels are going to rise for centuries. If the sea levels are rising, what do you do? You move up the hill. And I think the way forward is to look at how you relocate, how you redesign towns and cities for the next two or three centuries. Certainly preparation for these events is necessary and mandatory, and not, you know, after they happen, but before they happen. Not all scientists agree on the causes of climate change. But one thing seems clear. Hurricanes like Sandy will visit again. Has some sort of tipping point been reached? We all may learn the answer much sooner than we would like. Hi. Uh, I don't know. I can't even, uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm just happy that we're alive. There's, um, uh, we're all just sort of, uh, there's no, there's no, uh, power. There's no 
service, there's no phones. It's like a scene out of some end of the world movie. Um, and there, there's no exaggeration there. I don't even know how, words can't describe it. Um, the boardwalk is gone, but, but we're okay. Um, we're just making fires at night in the street and cooking communally and trying to stay together and be safe and keep the block safe and that's it. Um, I don't think people understand exactly what happened in our neighborhood. Um, and we want people to know because we want people to come and help. Uh, anyway, thinking of you um, and talk to you soon. Love you, big kiss. Bye.